Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Happy Sunday. For today's video, I decided to go makeup list because I don't want to put makeup on today. You know what I'm saying? I don't put makeup on every single day. So here's the real deal. For today, we are going to be doing my shop, my stash. I think for this week, I'm doing the high-end version. Two weeks ago, I did the drugstore version. Last week, I did... What did I do last week? Um, oh, last week I did the blindfolded version, so this week I figured we'd do the high-end version. I think it would be fun. I haven't used just high-end products in a very, very long time. Last week I also did a makeup look using all the products that I chose out, and I was so proud of myself. And then a lot of you guys gave me amazing, amazing feedback, so I'm like, thanks, you guys are so cool. Um, so hopefully this week I'll get down with a look as well. Let me know what kind of look you want me to do so I can listen to you guys and do whatever you want. <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. All right, let's start with the first drawer. My foundations and concealers as well as oils. So firstly, I think this foundation is okay. I used it last week. I think that they recalled all of them because, I mean, I don't even know exactly why to be honest, but this compared to their other products in their line, this was just definitely not like a winner for me. I don't know, I feel like it's very pasty on the skin. It is full coverage, but I don't personally like love, love, love it. So hopefully they'll come out with something that everyone enjoys, but there's that, but I'm not gonna use that. I think I'm gonna go ahead and use this. It's definitely like pretty bougie, high end, but I love it. I went to some of my older videos and I was looking at my makeup. I'm like, damn, Larry, you look pretty good. So I checked to see which foundation I use and it was this one. And I'm like, I really have to get down with it. You guys can see I used up a really nice amount. It is halfway gone. I really, really love it. It's what I used for my brother's wedding last year and I just enjoy it so much. So I'm happy that I'll be able to use it for this week. This little section is where I have my drugstore stuff. This oil should really be here. For oils, I'm gonna pull out the Kevin Aquan, the Neo Elixir. A few of you guys mentioned you found this at TJ Maxx. I also did. Emma ended up purchasing it. She loves it, you guys can see. I finished the death out of this. This is the best thing alive. Um, I'm so silly. I recently found another one at TJ Maxx. I don't know why I didn't purchase it, but I will be very sad when this is gone. If I find it at TJ Maxx, I'm gonna buy it because it's it's almost done and I can't live without you, baby. And I don't wanna purchase it for the full price at Sephora, you know? Okay, for concealers, I feel like for concealers, I could literally get rid of everything here because I think there's only one or two that I just use and I don't really like anything else in there. Um, if you guys have good concealer recommendations, please let me know. High-end or drugstore. I tried the Makeup Revolution one recently. Do not like that. I feel like it's really thick and pasty under the eyes. I just, I really like the ColourPop one. I like the CoverGirl one. And this is actually a new one that I'm going to use. Octally recently sent over. This is the Touche Eclat High Cover Concealer. It's the Radiant Concealer with basically high coverage. So I do think that this is a new one they recently released to their line, which gets me really excited because I did recently finish off the regular Touche Cloth Concealer. Not recently, but like last year. I love, love, love that. So I'm curious to see how this is going to work compared to that. I have mine in the shade number two, and I think it'll work out perfectly. So thrilled for this. Wow. I think what I'm also going to try to use is this MAC Paint Pot. This one right here is in Soft Ochre. I used to use this a lot like last year, but then, I don't know, stopped. And I recently found it again in my drawers, and I'm like, let me try it. I barely, rarely ever use eye primer but i remember when i was maybe like maybe 1920 i used to used to always use um painterly and i finished it off i loved it so i don't know i want to try to use it again because looking back at my eyeshadow looks when i was like 1920 i'm like it looks so innocent and cute let me use more of these moving on to the next drawer here's where i have my face primers and illuminators i am really excited to do a declutter for this drawer i've never done a primer declutter video um with eyeshadow palettes, I did sell a few last year. I'm curious to know if you guys would be interested in purchasing any of the facial primers. Are you not into that? Only eyeshadows? Let me know. Um, either way is totally fine. For primers, I think I'm going to use the Professional Pearl Primer. I use this a few times. I think I really like it. It has the same like consistency as the regular Professional Primer, but this one right here is in the Pearl version, so it's supposed to give it a little bit more of like a radiant effect to the face, you know? So we'll play around with this for this week. I'm thinking, what else? I think I'm going to also use this. I haven't used this in a long time, but you guys can see I did use a nice amount this is the Marc Jacobs coconut primer I don't find that this actually fills in my pores so that's why I have the professional one I feel like this adds a nice amount of hydration to my face <laughs> my face my face so I'm gonna use this in conjunction with the professional yay and I think that's pretty much it I love this you guys know I love this this is my favorite these two are probably my favorites okay fine bye moving on to the next drawer here's where I have my bronzers um, I don't know. This is a tough cookie, let me tell you. Um, <clears throat> okay, so firstly about this. This is the Too Faced Co Cocoa Contour Palette. I'm gonna say that I like it, but I'm definitely not in love with it. 
So here's what the palette looks like on the inside. We get three kind of like highlighting shades and then bronzy and contouring shades. The highlighting shade, I feel like the yellow one just works for me. The other ones <laughs> look a little bit off. And then the contouring and bronzing shades also like I feel like either they're too dark or too light or the undertone is just not there. So I have to like mix and match to create my customized shade, which is fine. But I don't know. I, I like the other contouring palette I purchased from Too Faced. So anyways, I'm still going to use this for this week. I still want to see what I can do with it if I enjoy it or if I'm just kind of like, no, this is just not for me. So we'll use this. The other um, palette I like from them is this one. This one I actually really enjoy a ton. What else can I use? It's high-end-ish. This I had for like three years. I remember purchasing it. I was obsessed with it. I still really like it. Um, I don't know. This also, by the way, like I like it, but... There's barely any product that comes off like on the brush and like it's gorgeous But a part of me is like did I just waste $35 on something that doesn't even show up? I don't know. I don't know It's so beautiful, right? But like I really have to dig my life in there to get something on the brush With this one I'm also kind of in between about I think I'll pull it out as well These two products by Too Faced I really like I have the milk chocolate soleil bronzer and then the regular chocolate soleil bronzer This I love as well. It's amazing. It's a beautiful like Mm, bronzer it's good it's good it has like a reddish undertone that's what i wanted to say um but i want to use though i want one more i want to use that oh this is also something that i loved for a very long time i still really like it what haven't i touched in like a year <laughs> mac no mm, okay let's let's use this this is the Pretty Vulgar Bronzer. It's in the shade Bronze B. I got it in BoxyCharm a few months back, I want to say. Very, very pigmented. I feel like uh, Pretty Vulgar had a moment there, but then, like, we don't really hear a lot about them these days, you know? I don't know. So that's pretty much it for this drawer. Let's move on to blushes. Right over here. I love, love, love this trio. One of the best uh, drugstore purchases of my life. This I purchased a few years back, but we're not going to use that. Um... Maybe one of these Becca palettes. Maybe not. This my sister purchased for me years ago when I first started getting into makeup. She's like, I'll buy you one MAC blush. And I'm like, okay. So it really holds a special place in my heart. I don't think I would ever get rid of this. It's very nostalgic for me. I think I'm going to use this. I purchased this a few months back. I spoke about it a ton also a few months back, but then kind of forgot about it. Put it in my drawers. It's the Buxom Wonderlust Blush in Ibiza. Yep, I purchased it mainly because I took a pill in Ibiza. You guys know that song? So that's the reason why I purchased this. I'm telling you, when they come up with good names like that, like it just attracts me to the product. I need it. I actually have this blush here from Becca in Snapdragon, which I believe I purchased for the full price tag. And me and Emma recent, or Emma and I recently found this at TJ Maxx, which is crazy. So there's that. But I think I'm also going to probably use this blush from Marc Jacobs. Emma, Leah recommended this to me, so I purchased it. It's really pretty. It's in the shade Flesh and Fantasy. It's just a very neutral, peachy, nude blush. It would go with anything. So I'm going to use this as well because I haven't used it in a very, very long time. So moving on to the next drawer, which is my highlighters. I definitely need to do a highlighter declutter. I don't know if I want anything from here. You, I'm telling you, my highlighter declutter is probably going to be epic because I'm probably going to get rid of a full drawer of stuff. So definitely stay tuned for that. You don't want to miss it. And that's me talking. Hey. Next drawer, I have these products here, which I just threw in the other day. I don't know if I want anything from here. Mm. And then I have this drawer of stuff. I really want to use this, but it is high end week this week. So we're not going to touch her. Um, what is this? No. Nope. No, this is nice, but it was limited edition. They don't have it anymore. I have this one for Makeup Geek in collaboration with Kathleen. This was a holiday palette they released a few years ago. Ooh, let's use this. I actually haven't used this in a while. Like, since I purchased it, which was almost a month ago, I think I used it once, which is like, Lyra, what are you doing in your life? You know what I mean? Like, stop it. It was in collaboration with Game of Thrones um, and Urban Decay, of course. So here are the three shades. I like this palette. I just find that it's not so wearable for me on a day-to-day -day basis because everything is a bit too dark and a little bit out there. So I'm going to use this, but I'm going pull something else out as well i love 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 the packaging it's really like legit i think i'm gonna pull this out i really like this it's gorgeous i also haven't used this in a very long time this is the Too faced diamond highlighter it's really pretty because it looks like white but like it shows different like it comes off as bluish purpley pinky on the skin and it but it's still kind of like wearable it's very pretty and then you guys know this is my favorite this is my favorite high end highlighter palette if i had to choose one this is it amazing beautiful on the skin but i'm not gonna use that because i always use it so we'll give other palettes a chance i think that's pretty much it though for palettes i don't know i actually love this as well maybe we'll pull this out too it's like massive though Wait a minute what's this 
Yeah, that's the ABH one. What is this? No. Yeah, I like this one a lot. I haven't used it in a very long time. And this palette is really great too because we get blushes in here as well. So three cream products and then three powders. We'll, we'll take this for the week. Okay, moving on to this drawer where I basically have my eyeshadow palettes. I think I definitely want to use this. I haven't used this in such a long time. It's the Huda uh, Beauty New Nudes palette. I remember when this came out, I was on its ass for so long and then... I don't know, put it in my drawers, forgot about it, kinda. I just think that this palette is gorgeous. Every time I create a look with it, I'm just really, really satisfied. I love the different textures that you get in here, and it's just unique and different. Um, I don't love all Huda Beauty palettes, I'm not gonna lie, but this one right here is definitely a diamond in the rough. Um, I think her nine pen palettes are different. I feel like I like these bigger palettes more than the nine pen palettes. You know, does that make sense? Maybe it's a different formula, I believe that it is. Anyways, I'm gonna use this. I'm thinking what else. This is one that I really enjoyed for such a long time. And I'm going to be doing a declutter video soon. I really just have to start using these to remember if I enjoy them or not. But I love using this on those like no makeup makeup look days. You know, like you just throw a shade on, sweep it on the eyes and it looks beautiful. So I think I'm going to pull this out as well. I miss this baby. I missed you. I forgot I even, I even had you. Let me just give you guys a sneak peek. This is definitely something I'm going to be decluttering. Decluttering my declutter video. 90% gonna declutter, but still thinking about that one. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Some of them are like cult classics. Like this, I could never get rid of. It's still like in the bulkier packaging. Let's use this as well. What the heck, Lyra? We're doing this. We're doing this this week. Maybe I'll start doing like throwback Thursday looks. You know, a lot of you guys told me you want, me, you want to see that from me. So we're taking this baby too. But then I'm looking at this as well. I love this. This is the Alamar Cosmetics palette. And this we got in our Boxy Charm last year. I really love it. But I feel like it's more of like a colorful type of palette. And I don't want to do major colorful looks this week. I think I want to stick to the neutral bandwagon. Some people play around with this in a different um, Shop My Stash video. Probably not next week. But anyway, what else am I going to get rid of? Let's do a sneak peeky here. I'm going to get rid of a few of these. Stay tuned. And then we have this drawer here with more palettes. This I'm probably going to get rid of. I don't know. I feel like I just don't need it. I'm probably going to get rid of this. This I'm probably going to get rid of as well. I don't know. I don't like I like it, but I'm not crazy over it. Did I even swatch it? I think I swatched a few, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't gravitate towards it. Um, what else? This I'll probably keep. I love this. This I'll probably get rid of. I don't know. All right. Oh, this. We're going to think about her. Moving down to this side of my drawers, here I, where I have more palettes, but we're not going to jump in here because I think I chose enough palettes for the week. Um, here's where I have lip products. I don't know if I want anything from here, though. I think I definitely need to do a lip product, like lip declutter video. I've done one in the past. I got rid of over 100 lipsticks. Um, and there's many here that I know a lot of people get a, use, a lot of use out of, like other people. I think I'm going to pull this out, though. This is the Too Faced lipstick in the shade Strip Search. I really, really love this color. I think it's beautiful. And the formula is also very, very nice. So I'm going to use this. I think I'm going to use some of my MAC lipsticks, possibly, and other stuff that are on my shelf. So we're going to go through that in a second. But I think that's pretty much it for this drawer. Moving on to this drawer is pretty much where I have my lashes and makeup remover wipes. I honestly just want to finish this. I'm not, like, feeling it anymore. Ah, well, so we're just gonna use that, I think. Yeah, I need, to, I need to shop for more makeup remover wipes. Let me know what your favorite makeup remover wipes are. I think my favorites, honestly, are the Neutrogena ones. They're just like the best, hands down, no fuss, no nothing, removes everything. It's just like, it's been around for a while, but it literally is probably one of the only wipes that really work for me without a hassle. For lashes this week, I'm gonna use these Ardell Wispies. Lately, I've been liking these like natural lashes, like the ones that add something, but not, overly dramatic lashes you know and plus the band is clear so it's not it doesn't feel like heavy on the lashes so we'll use this i don't even know what i was even thinking when i bought this like what was i thinking i don't even know how this would look on my eyes i do have big eyes so usually these don't look off but like i feel like this would look like i don't know what actually i'm thinking of this. these are not high end am i cheating right now but i don't have like high end lashes that's the truth so i had like the pure ones but not anymore Anyway, all right, so we'll do this. Okay, let's just cheat for this because I don't have any eyelashes. Moving to this drawer. Here's where I have my loose powders, powders, all of that. 
lip balms. Okay, for lip balms, I'm definitely going to be using the Fresh Peach Sugar Lip Balm. I love this. And this one right here is the caramel one, which I'm almost done with. This, I know a bunch of you guys said you found at TJ Maxx. I purchased mine at Sephora for the full price tag, but if I would find it at TJ Maxx, I'd probably buy another one because it's the best. But this is also like the best, kind of. I love it, love it, love it. So I use that for lip balm. We are going to be using the Fenty Beauty Loose powder in the shade butter so i used this a few times in the past i actually do like it i think it's really nice um i like it as much as i like my laura mercier one and that says a lot this is just like the deluxe size but i still think it comes with a lot of product in here so we're going to use that and then i think i'm also going to use this it's the clarins what is this um everlasting compact in 107 beige it's just like a great go-to face powder um, I use a nice amount. You guys can see cl the word Clarins is almost like off. So I'm going to set my face with this, but to set my under eyes and to bake, I'm going to use that Fenty Loose powder. And then finally moving on to here before we go get setting sprays and lip products, I'm going to be using for my brows, I'm going to use the ABH. This is the brow definer. It's the one that has like the 3D shape. So I don't like to line my brows out my brows out with this. I fill in my brows with this, but to line my brows to give it the actual shape, I need something like thin. So I'm gonna use the let's use this. This is the ABH brow wiz. So this one right here is the one that's a little bit thinner that I could um, carve my brows out with. I'm also gonna use this. I haven't used it in a very long time. It's the High Brow by Benefit. It's something great to just highlight your um, brow bone with. I usually do that with um, concealer, but I do want to get use out of this product, and it came in like a Sephora favorites kit from like I don't know two years ago. So I want to get use out of that for mascaras. I definitely want to try the new Too Faced mascara. This one right here is the Better Than Sex one, but I want to try the I think Damn Girl mascara. Is that what it's called? I have to get on it ASAP. Mm, let's use the Better Than Sex one. I like this one. And then we'll also use the Hourglass Caution Mascara because I spent like 30 bucks on this and I need to need to get my use out of this. Otherwise, I'm going to be really, really sad. I'm telling you. It was like $30. What was I thinking? I like it, but I'm not crazy over it. I can't wait to do my makeup collection video, you guys. I'm telling you, it's going to be so much fun. So here's where I situate my mists. I really, really love the fresh vitamin nectar to just prep my face with. And I also really like the glow recipe you guys can see i use up a nice amount i'm obsessed with this brand i want to just buy everything they have so yeah we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna take these babies i love them so much and then i think i'm getting inspired to use one of the mac fix pluses so you guys can see with this one i used a ton i really love this it came out i think two years back in a limited edition collection basically but i think i'm going to use this one which i really love it's the fix plus the lavender one and I love the scent of this because it's very mild, but like you still have that little lavender effect as well. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? So I'm going to use this. I think I'm also going to take out the Kula SPF 30 mist as well. You guys know how important it is to wear SPF during the summer months especially. So I'm going to use this too. I don't love it because like it has an alcoholy scent, but it also has SPF. For now, it's fine until I find something else that doesn't smell like alcohol. So we'll use this. For lip products... I don't know. Maybe let's look. What, let's look at what's in here. I haven't used these in such a long time. These are the great. These are the Too Faced um, liquid lipsticks. I love these. They really are gorgeous on the lips. So I think I'm just gonna pull out like five of them, or maybe I'll just keep this little drawer handy in front of my face so I can have um, a bunch of options to choose from. So yeah, I think we're gonna work with these. I think that's pretty much it. That's everything that I pretty much need for the week, I want to say. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know, like I mentioned before, what kind of look you want to see. If it's more of a natural look, everyday kind of look, or dramatic look, all that. Um, let me know if there's any exciting products you guys are going to be using. And I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye. <laughs>